What's up guys? Uh, it's I the one and today I'm gonna show you the most popular uh, park uh, in Moscow city. It's a uh, very convenient and uh, super stylish. Uh, it's called Park Gorkova. So here is the uh, lake continues and there is the station where you can rent a boat. Some uh, child playground with a lot of children in there. Here's the view on the lake uh, from the other angle and uh, right next to it you'll see a children uh, playground with uh, a big big uh, loop tube where you can go in and then slide. I would uh, go there by myself, but uh, I'm too big for that, so uh, sorry guys. Um, this type of uh, playground is unique for um, Russia and for Moscow as well, uh, so it's very modern, stylish, and I think there's like some European designer who made that. Uh, the whole park is right next to the river. The river is called uh, Moscow River. You probably can see it very badly because uh, of the sun. I just wanted to tell you that there's a special lane for bikes, but somebody is riding it and other people don't. Just take a look at the uh, at the river and a beautiful traffic jam because right now it's like six uh, six in uh, p.m. and uh, everybody is coming from work, so there's like a lot of traffic there. Uh, you can uh, buy a ticket and to uh, to ride a ferry here, just like that one, and the price will be something around uh, fifteen dollars. Yeah. And here is the place with the biggest fountains uh, in the park. They're, uh, they're uh, gathered around by these beautiful trees. And uh, uh, some people are actually swimming in the fountains. Uh, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a tradition to swim uh, in the fountains. Yeah. But uh, not too many, many people are doing it here because probably the security, the security is, uh, is, uh, is feeding everybody. So here's the main entrance uh, to the park and uh, the closest metro stations are on the left and right. It's just like five minutes of walking time to go to the metro station and uh, there's nothing interesting there just a small road and some beautiful flowers again and uh, uh, some vase and a big uh, vase and other beautiful flowers here and they actually grow something there I'm not sure what it is it w I I wouldn't uh, be surprised if uh, it's something that you can actually eat because uh, the echo trend is very uh, strong right now in uh, uh, Moscow in a very fashionable places like this so probably they can grow something and then uh, put it uh, on the table so people can eat that and, uh, another one these are rented bikes the price are around five dollars per hour and you can uh, rent easily rent a, a governmental bike from the city and uh, that will cost you around uh, maybe two dollars for an hour now just a short uh, uh, review without my uh, talking ha that's enough now i'm gonna talk again uh, there are like a beautiful uh, trees here and that's all because of the a big amount of money that uh, are are spent uh, are spent uh, on this park i'm telling you you won't find like gardens like this in uh, free places uh, for a visit i mean like free of charge and uh, here is a place where you can uh, play some volleyball i'm not sure if uh, it's uh, uh, free of charge or not i believe if it's not then it's uh, supposed to be pretty cheap yeah a lot of sand now here is a place where you can play some football it's a mini football and uh, it's all for free this whole amusement park is for free so anybody can visit it and nobody have to pay anything and that's a good uh, 
thing and uh, that's why it's super popular uh, there are some beautiful flowers here and uh, uh, when it's winter there is uh, like a place where you can ride skis no skates skates ice skates uh, all over the park because of this party so modern uh, it is very popular uh, throughout the young people uh, young uh, people that are uh, either uh, either very stylish either very fashionable and also some exhibitions are here this is a big uh, mall uh, which i actually visited one day uh, in the other day and uh, uh, there was a concert here but actually this garage uh, is uh, famous for some art exhibition some fountains again and right next there you'll see a university I, i'm not sure how it's called uh, well yeah some university uh, a beautiful toilet uh, which is a uh, uh, which is a unique thing uh, to Russia because uh, usually it's some plastic box where you visit another a separate building especially in the free parks uh, another uh, another place where you can sit and here's a very good uh, asphalt so you can ride it and uh, now it's ended by the way this road is made from wood you can try and see it that it's uh, an X tree just like that but a big one and now we're riding on it uh, right now uh, you will see the rented uh, the renting place where you can uh, rent the bikes uh, here are like uh, four seated bikes and uh, ordinary bikes and actually uh, we just left the, par the park itself and we're gonna enter another park which is also beautiful but way smaller uh, this is the highway uh, that crosses the, these two parks and uh, under the bridge there are a lot of benches uh, where you can sit and uh, uh, also some performances are held here as well uh, this small park is called uh, Muzion which uh, is probably from Russian word Muzika it's music and right there there's a big uh, place where a lot of exhibitions going on oh my god just look check out the Chevrolet all right that's a museum where you can uh, uh, find a lot of uh, cars like this but this one uh, is beautiful and it's outside so <laughs> you can watch it for free Here we are in the museum, uh, Museon Park. Uh, these places uh, are usually filled uh, with the pictures. And I mean, when I say pictures, I mean real pictures that you paint. Uh, the, uh, this is the place where a lot of paintings are sold. They're not here because of the pandemic thing. So, uh, uh, so the, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of grass and trees and a lot of bikers here as well. Uh, still, we're going uh, through the... Uh, through the river and some boats that you can ride I like that one that one is awesome and some a police boat and even a lot of traffic jam there well basically you have to ride here but uh, as I told you before not 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 too much people are uh, following these rules uh, here all uh, all the shelves are used usually are used uh, for selling the um, for selling the um, uh, paintings oh my god the ship is going almost as fast as I go right <laughs> we went further into the park and here are another fountains the beauties of those that you can actually run uh, through uh, through them and uh, that's uh, very uh, good uh, in uh, sunny days like uh, this one uh, although right now it's not uh, super uh, super hot so not too much people are relaxing in uh, in the fountains but anyway you can see here are some tables where you can sit and it's not a cafe you just sit oh you just sit and relax and uh, yay and that uh, red building is the place where uh, the, some 
famous chocolates uh, used to produce. I'm not sure if they are produced right now. Krasne Oktober, there is written. And uh, on my left, uh, to my on my hand on the left, uh, you will see uh, on the right. There, you will see a Kremlin. The part of the Kremlin. So uh, this park is actually very close to the city center and to the Kremlin itself. Uh, I would also like to mention like cafes like these are super expensive and uh, yeah, we're not going going we're not going there yeah and uh, as you can see this uh, the the river divides into two paths there and goes on the left and on the right and on that small island there uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of clubs I hope you saw something because I uh, put the camera up and right next to uh, uh, Park Gorkova is uh, a real, real forest like this, as you can see. Uh, this place is called Niskushny Sad, which can be roughly translated like unboring garden. And uh, there is just a few roads between the trees. So you, uh, you're coming from a place with a very stylish uh, everything and then you, you get into the nature cool right and all this beautiful place is uh, in the city center right next to a highway so it's like a tropical uh, nature paradise within a city look highway now forest and further there is a river with another highway all right now we're leaving the park and uh, that uh, is how the entrance, the back door, the back entrance looks like. And here's the highway. All right. Okay, so that was Ido One. And tell me what you uh, think about this video. And uh, uh, in the comments below. And see you next time. Bye.